My nephew arrived after being gone for two weeks. When he showed up, we went straight to the office. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. I literally just waved him and said, follow me. And he came straight in. I did this because I knew that he had just graduated from his year and I knew he was going to be going on that stupid camping trip and dummy that I was, I didn't tell him about what he needs to worry about or at least be aware of. When he finally sat down in the office, I asked him, you ever hear of something ethereal? He looked at me sideways. Ghosts, I asked. He simply turned to me and said, do you think I'm stupid? And I replied, scale of 1 to 10? Funny, he said. At that point, I said, sit down, shut up, and hold on a second. I got one here. One sec. Okay, here it is. I dropped the file in front of him, and I explained what ethereals actually are. Ethereals are, like the Lord's Prayer says, the seen and unseen of things. Things that don't quite match our three-dimensional understanding of things. In some of the cases, it's from dimensional. From some cases, it's spiritual. Sometimes it's mystic. They're actually different, and uh, they're not usually from a dimensional shift, but it does happen. It's odd. Sometimes they cross over and cross back. The mind's electrical, so it immediately will tell you when they're there, because the ethereals do give off a slight vibration. A vibration that you can actually pick up because energy is energy. He looked at me sideways. I said, you took physics, didn't you? Yeah. Well, then they should have covered this. Electronics are also affected, at least the old school ones, before they had the buffers put in. They didn't want the, well, everyone to know what the hell was going on. So they had those put into modern electronics, and now you can't really tell when something's around. I had to show him a map about areas of the world that are connectors to the ethereal plane. It's all strange. I had to introduce the idea of ley lines to him. And this actually made him stop and rub his head. Ow, that hurts. Oh, don't try to think about this logically. You'll break something, I told him. I reminded him that strange dreams that you have are not always dreams. Sometimes they're a ethereal slash psychological crossover. If you're able to do that willingly, it can be, well, painful to try and do that. You do get increased abilities when you do, but the problem is when you try to go across, your internal safety systems kick in hard and the fear that you feel, at least you think it's fear. Sometimes it's actually excitement which is what's confusing to people. He looked at me strange, and I had to stop at that point and remind him, look, remember when you were young and you first got into a fight and you thought it was fear tugging at you? No, it was excitement. You wanted to fight. Every single part of you was getting ready to start throwing hands, tossing down, or whatever the fucking stupid phrase you want. Every part of you wanted to go, but you've been brainwashed and waxed at thinking that it was fear. It's not always fear. You need to keep your wits about you. If you don't, then then you're in trouble. How bad? Really bad. People have damaged their own spirituality, their own internal beings, and I've seen some of the scans of their brains, the MRIs. It can get kind of messy in there, so you really have to watch it. Don't think you can rush this sort of thing. So if you're looking to get into it, I can help you, but it's going to take months, if not years. Okay, just so understand that. With that, he turned back to the files, and I kept going. I informed him where he was going was one of these connecting pieces on the ethereal planes, the ley lines. So weird shit happens. And since he's going with a group, he has to be careful of groupthink. Okay, groupthink is very dangerous because it only takes one to freak everybody out and it's contagious. Fear is contagious, but it only also takes one person to laugh somebody out of fear, to scare them out of fear, to straighten them out, to tease them out of fear. It only takes that. Fear only appears from 
ignorance of things and understand this that you'll feel these things moving around but trust me you'll be fine I pulled out another file and dropped it out in front of him and then I continued as he opened it up and his eyes got real wide I told him aliens use ley lines as access points they use it from one reality to the next because you could say it's type of a weak point between one dimension and another this is why different parts of the world have different creatures you know you got the phrase over there in like England and Scotland and stuff like that there's a ley line that crosses right there if you keep going east across the their little I guess you could say little sea there the thin sea the narrow sea whatever the hell you want to call it then you deal with the trolls and those big fuckers usually stay underground a lot of people confuse them with dwarves not even close but you'll find them all over the place and you just gotta be aware of it we don't need to use them anymore but we do this actually got his attention as he was expecting another file I simply just reached down to the one he was flipped a couple pages lifted it up and said look here the alien tech that we've been able to work off of it messes with our tech and now that we've been able to figure out these ley lines and what vibration which energy which frequencies to use we can cross whenever the hell we feel like it not something I intend to do because a lot of times there's something over there you don't know what it is and it can kill you you also have to remember that ethereal is going to mess with your tech I bring this up because the most likely of things you're gonna screw with over there okay also remember alternate dimensions will mess with your tech there's other dimensions that want to be able to cross over so they're experimenting now just remember cell phones your cell phone is going to act weird it's going to act funny it might have some sort of haze on it it might show some distortion it, it will just be weird okay expect that because they're working on multiple frequencies so there's going to be some inevitable crossover just remember that when it comes to things that reach out well human experimentation around that area still happens so stay with the tour guide and the group you should be fine they know where the safe zones are at I'm gonna say that one again so it sticks stay with the tour group you got a piss just take two steps off the trail whip it out okay if the girls want to sit there and take a peek let them take a peek but don't leave the trail he looked at me sideways on that but I looked at him dead in his eyes just remember that the reasons I told him that nobody knows exactly what they're dealing with when they're up there well that's because there's more than one well usually more than one thing to deal with and this is what confused the living crap out of scientists for a long time they were trying to lock down one reason one certain thing but if they were getting tests for the same thing on different parts of the mountain they would get different results because they're dealing with different things okay so just understand that not everything up there that goes bump in the night is gonna hurt you some of the things are actually just trying to play with you so don't worry about that I mean hell I was up there and well let's just say I had a fun night it wasn't bad at all I gave him another file and this was the basics of camping in the area I told him when camping ethereals will mess with you and the group it's what they do they like to have fun just think of Midsummer Night's Dream and Puck they like to puck around with you a lot usually they won't damage you at all if anything they'll kind of give you a little twist a little flick you know a little pet or something just to make you jump because they find that funny for what reason I don't know I think mainly they like spiking our energies um, they well they will leave if no energies are released at a high enough level you know things like fear anger lust so if your buddies you know banging his girlfriend over there and they're really getting into it don't be surprised if something actually shows up just to well not to watch but it's gonna absorb something 
I'm not sure how that works. This isn't my area of expertise. I just happen to have files on it. Just remember things like sadness will actually pull them in too. Some sort of emotional response is what they're looking for. And just be careful, very careful, because with these ethereals, it ain't just angels out there. Demons will try to come through too. And they, well, they're usually there to do bad things because they love the taste of fear. It's addicting. It's like crack and cocaine and meth all wrapped up in some sort of adrenaline spike. It's just crazy for them. So they love your fear. But they cannot stand resistance. So here, look. I flip a few more pages and point it straight to them. This is the Lord's Prayer. Memorize it if you haven't already. And you're going to take this copy here. Do not lose it. Okay? If you think one's close, I want you to start saying it. Either say it silent, say it out loud. I don't give a shit, but say it and mean it. Hold it close to your heart along with this. I reach up and give him a talisman that is pure silver that's already been blessed. Physical weapons only work on demons who cross over. Okay, understand that because they're very rare. The ones that actually cross over are very, very rare. Possessions happen. Okay, as long as you have this, they can't do it. So you should be safe. Think of his body armor. Okay, the physical body would be damaged if you went after him. So don't actually kill the body, okay? It is very important. If you think somebody's getting a little possession, I want you to call me, okay? But it shouldn't be a problem as long as you stay in the sites. It's, they're blessed. They're pre-blessed. So you should be fine, okay? And before you even ask, you don't have to worry about any of the cryptids that I was talking about. I told you before, they're afraid of that area. They stay miles away as they do not want to be risked pulling back into whatever hellscape they come from okay they they don't want to go to their original dominion because it's nice here it's a lot nicer here they got plenty of prey they they got all this fun stuff to do they don't want to go back and some have been born here so they're scared of going and besides most cryptids are extremely weak against ethereal not all of them but a good portion now there's one rule above all above all else do not conceive a child on that mountain especially anywhere near or on the top issues will ensue trust me you do not want to be there the, what you guys know is the men in black will show up, but trust me, you won't even see them coming. I've worked with these guys. They're scary good, and you know I don't use that often. And they are some vicious sons of bitches. If you're not going to go along with them willingly, they're going to beat you. If you're still fighting, they'll fucking kill you. So just, just remember, while you're there on the mountain, just keep it zipped up, and you should be fine. All right, so, all right, I'm, I'm just going to leave you with this. As I reach over and tap on the file to emphasize my point, just remember your survival training, the stuff I gave you. Remember what I told you, and don't lose that talisman. What did I just say? Don't lose the talisman. And remember survival training. Yes, keep your wits about you. You do that, and you know what you're going to do? What? You're going to enjoy your trip. It's going to be one of the best times of your life. He looked at me sideways at that. I'm not kidding. I have a blast when I go there. So tell you what. Give me the file. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to make sure you got everything you want. I would hand you a beer, but you're still too young. And by the way, don't drink when you're out there. Please don't. The last thing I need is to get a phone call to drive all the way out there to get your ass out of the drunk tank. With that, I put the files back and I locked the door. As we were heading up the hill, he asked, So, you said you dealt with ethereals when you were there? 
any of them that I might know? I thought for a moment, said, well, I did have an interesting conversation with Lilith once. Hello everybody, this is Syntax. Thank you very much for joining me on this week's chapter of The Files. Before I go, I need to spend out a big thank you to one of my supporters. You know him, you love him. It is SS Demon. Kind of weird how it works that he gets today of all days. Still, thank you very much for supporting the channel. And everyone else, I will see you on the next one. This is Syntext, ejecting.